Quick and easy, estimation for SAT math elimination. Hello, dear learners. Today, we'll be diving into a brilliant strategy to answer SAT math questions more efficiently. We are discussing using estimation to eliminate answer choices. It's a game changer. Estimation is essentially making a well-informed guess. It doesn't give you the exact answer but a close approximation. On the SAT, sometimes you don't need the precise number. If you can determine which answer choices are ridiculously far from a reasonable answer, you can eliminate them. This saves time and increases your odds of choosing the correct answer. 1. Lengthy calculations. If a question involves long and tedious calculations, first estimate. 2. Large numbers or fractions. If you're working with large numbers or complex fractions, estimation can be quicker. 3. Multiple choice, especially when the answer choices are significantly different from each other. Remember, it's essential to recognize when an exact answer is needed and when an estimation is enough. Practice makes perfect. 1. Round numbers. If the question has numbers like 299 or 102, round them off to 300 or 100 respectively. This makes calculations simpler. 2. Use benchmarks. For fractions or percentages, use benchmarks like 1 half or 50% to quickly gauge where the number lies. 3. Visualize. If a question involves geometry, try to get a visual sense. Is the angle close to 90 degrees or more like 30 degrees? 4. Eliminate extremes. After estimating, remove any answers that are clearly too high or too low. Let's look at a sample question. A store sells a shirt for $97 and a hat for $28. If you were to buy both, approximately how much would you spend? A. $100 billion $105 C $120 D $125 E $130 By simply rounding, we get Shirt tilde $100 hat tilde $30 Total estimated cost equals $130. From our estimations, the closest option is E, $130. While the exact answer is $125, our estimation quickly led us to the right choice. There you have it. Using estimation can be a quick and potent weapon in your SAT math arsenal. Remember, it's not about being 100% accurate, but about being smart with your choices. Practice this technique, and you'll surely see its magic. Until next time, happy studying and best of luck with your SAT preparations.